Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Shravni and I am a personal trainer, sports nutritionist and an entrepreneur and I like using YouTube as a platform to not only share information on health and fitness but also to share bits and pieces of my life. So it's a little bit more candid than Instagram I would say where I share uh, a little bit more about the fitness industry. So if you're interested in learning more about health and fitness then I do highly recommend you follow my Instagram channel. I'm going to leave it somewhere here on the screen um, and today's video on the other hand is going to be all about what I eat in a day. Better title would be what I eat what I'm eating today because every day looks different and today is a Monday I just went down and got some grocery and I have a few things in mind that you know I'm going to whip up so of course I've already had my coffee and I'm not going to bore you by showing you how I make that I'm, I'm pretty sure you all are bored by now so the first thing I do once I wake up is to drink water and if you are somebody who struggles with you know drinking enough water or just keeping a track of how much water you've consumed I highly recommend doing what I do and that is drinking from water bottles like this which is this is about a 1.5 litre bottle so I try to get through two of these every day and if I'm going to the gym on any particular day then it's even more than that so generally I wake up and I have about I would say a glass of water or so and then I move on to my coffee I'm just gonna go sit down and get some work done I have a client call and once I'm done with that call I'm gonna start making breakfast so now without any further ado let's get right into this video Okay, first meeting is out of the way. I have another one in 40 minutes, so I need to whip up something quick. And the thing about me is, you know, depending on my mood, I might want sweet or savory in the morning. So if I want sweet, I generally go with oatmeal, so protein oatmeal. Otherwise, if I'm craving savory, then I do something like eggs and toast or a breakfast burrito or something along those lines. Now, as much as I love my breakfast burritos, they take a little bit more time than I have right now. So I'm thinking of doing like a peanut butter toast with berries because I just bought a few berries today and I might do some scrambled eggs on the side. Let's go make some fancy as breakfast. a quick breakfast for myself look at this beauty cannot wait to dive in it's one of the simplest meals to put together if you're a student if you're someone who lives by yourself this took me like 15 minutes to put together and it just uses most ingredients that you already have in your fridge or in your pantry anyway a few things that you can do to make this even more delicious is either add cheese to your eggs or you can drizzle some maple syrup on top of the bread and it's gonna taste so freaking good i don't have maple syrup and i don't feel like having cheese on my eggs today so let's dig in I'm gonna be very honest with you here. Staying alone um, and working is a little bit tricky and I'm sure a lot of you re relate that it's not always easy to cook a meal, even if it's simple 30 minute recipes. So instead today I've decided to order in. My lunch is going to be Bahar Ka Khana. 
However, I am going to make the rest of my meals at home. So what I've done here is, let me just show you my plate. So this is basically what my plate looks like. So I have rice and chicken curry here. We've got maybe about 80 grams to 100 grams of chicken. Uh, and this is my little salad that I've put together. I know it looks really tiny, but trust me, the bowl is massive. So I've got some lettuce. I've got apple, I've got cranberries and walnuts. Very, very simple. No dressings whatsoever. I think that's going to be delicious. This is always my drink of choice. And of course, we have the perfect pairing with this, which is my Diet Pepsi. Okay, it's about four o'clock now in the evening and it's time for my second cup of coffee. I'm gonna show you very quickly how to make it even though I said I wouldn't. You know, if you're new here, you might just appreciate the visuals instead of the recipe I told you in the morning. Fairly simple, we're gonna have some fresh milk. I'm using full cream, uh, I have whipped cream here and I'm gonna be using one of my Starbucks pods. I am currently loving this one. This is the breakfast blend, it goes really nice. And there's this other one called Verona, which I really like, which I just ran out of. Colombia is not really my favorite and this is my decaf which I generally have if I'm having coffee after 6 p.m. or so. Okay, so I've put it into this Nespresso machine. We're gonna place this right under here. This has probably been the best investment I've ever made. Now, of course, I can just stop right here and put some whipped cream on my coffee and I'd be good to go. However, I am somebody who enjoys iced coffee. So I'm going to add a couple of ice cubes into that. Ah! Didn't mean to make a mess. I'm going to clean that up. Ah, looks good. So here I am by the window again. I love this time of the day because there's such nice sunshine coming through this window over here. And I'm just gonna be enjoying this. I really wish I could have left to go to the gym by now because I am a little bit delayed now. I just wanted to discuss how right now I'm not necessarily eating anything and that's because I've had two pretty heavy meals so I say. If I eat like a light breakfast and a medium sized lunch, then by now I would have been a little hungry. So this is when I generally dig into things like cereal. So I love having cereal with milk along with my coffee, else I'll have protein oats. That's also one of my favorite meals. So I'm just gonna enjoy my beautiful iced coffee and I'll see you guys when we're ready for dinner. gym and I am enjoying one of my favorite smoothies of all time. I love a mixed berry smoothie and it was so simple to put together and honestly I think this is something anyone can make and everyone will enjoy so highly recommend trying it out. Mm. Oh so good. So so good. I really think smoothies are a great way to incorporate protein into your diet without having to think too much especially for those of you who are extremely busy with your work and preparing your own sources of protein gets a little bit tedious. This is where a supplement comes in. Of course, a supplement is exactly what it says it is. It's supposed to supplement a great diet already. So I wouldn't recommend relying on protein powder to get your protein intake in. However, even starting your day with a smoothie like this can really help set the tone for the rest of the day because then you have you know a certain amount of protein out of the way. But this is an easy 35 grams of protein in a smoothie that I can drink in like 15 seconds flat. Highly, highly recommend for those of you with a busy lifestyle, you say you don't have time. I'm sure you have time to make it. For dinner today, I made these chicken burritos and I started off by seasoning my chicken breast with salt, pepper and cajun spice and then shallow frying it on a pan until it was fully done. 
Then to assemble, I actually used a kubus instead of tortilla and then uh, layered some lettuce, tomatoes, onions right on top, followed by my chicken breast which I sliced uh, just to make it easier to assemble. And then I topped that off with some cheddar cheese, sour cream and then of course my favorite chipotle mayo and that was pretty much it. It was so good and this brings me to the end of my full day of eating. So thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please be sure to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!